Hey guys, so a great drill you can do as a linebacker or if you're coaching linebackers that just works fundamentals, especially for downhill running, is this drill right here. So we're gonna work on shuffling and then breaking at an angle. So what I show here is just a simple shuffle, shuffle, go into a 45 degree break, but you can do this for any angle. You can do this shuffle, shuffle, and move directly forward at a 90 degree angle. You can work completely laterally to the sidelines. It doesn't necessarily matter, you cue them up. So what I would recommend is, you know, if you have a team that runs a lot of outside runs, work with them to more shuffle, shuffle, take the outside angle, okay? Or if it's a lot of, you know, right up, right off the center, and you're gonna have them working forward a lot more, just base it off that week and just use this in the first couple of practices to just get them to move and then break at that angle. So the couple things, so we'll see it here. All right, so like I said, it's just a basic shuffle, shuffle, 45 degree angle. And what I have here is try to set a target point. So for me, the target point when I, when I started to move was at this corner right here. So you could just set a cone out there. You could put anything out there, put it out by the holes, however you want them to see it cue them into so they have a direct direction to work towards, okay? And the other piece of it too is trying to make sure a couple of things. So I'm gonna put this into a much slower motion. So when they shuffle, make sure they stay in this position, all right? So as I'm shuffling across here, I move, I come up a little bit, but I'm still in a good position talking in terms of bending of the knees. My back is still at a good angle. So if I wanna accelerate out of this, I don't have to then I didn't stand up and now I have to drop myself down to, to adjust my weight. I don't have to shift a lot of things. I stay in that good position. So same thing when I go into this shuffle here, all right, I stay in that position, but now I'm able to open my hips and rotate and now run out of this. So that's kind of a big thing too. So make sure when your players are doing this, you don't wanna see them take right here. If they have to adjust, all of a sudden take a couple extra steps to then break at that angle. All right, that's what you'll see a lot of times is you'll see right here when they go to change the angle. So when they go to see the play, you'll see them kind of do a couple extra hop steps. So they'll kind of pitter patter their feet a little bit to adjust and then they'll, then they'll attack. Get them to see it and off that reaction, they just open their hips up and go in one step. So that's kind of what I do here. All right, so if we watch it again, as I shuffle, I open those hips up into that angle. And now in that one step, my hips and my shoulders are in that 45 angle. And this is why I say use this as a good just warm up drill and base it off the week for the team that you're playing. Cue this up for your players. Do five or six reps in a row where you shuffle, shuffle, we break at the 45. Shuffle, shuffle, break at the 45 so that they get used to whatever angle it is. They get the footwork down. So now when you go later in the practice to have them react to it, and it could be the outside run, it could be the inside run. Now they're basing it off the fundamentals they just learned. So. Those would be the cues right there, guys. And, and what I would look for is make sure they stay in that low position and then be able to open up in two steps. So right here, I was able to open my hips up. My foot is pointed in the exact direction I'm moving. My hips are now both going in this direction. Same with my shoulders. So everything is that one line. So good warm up drill here, guys, especially for running plays and you know allowing your players to just get used to exactly where they need to go and the body position opening those hips up.